Hello my lovelies, welcome to my channel. Here we are doing the monthly reading for all zodiac signs. This is going to be for Leo's Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Let's get right into your reading. Leo, let's see what's going on for you guys. All right. All right, so for this month, Leo, um, I think finances are going to take center stage for you guys. Uh, this could come in the representation of that, of um, increased pay, uh, more. I think a lot of people are taking notice of your achievements or of your determination when it comes to your finances, when it comes to your business or the company that you work for. Now, you do have the five of pentacles right at the center. I feel that you guys are very tired or could be experiencing like uh, frustration. Uh, for some of you guys, it could be like physical, you know, feeling, you know, worn out, feeling like you guys are pretty much exhausted. This could be, uh, like I said, on the physical aspect, like um, <clears throat> your body really letting you know, like you've put it through the ringer or you're not getting enough sleep. You're not really, um, you need some time off is what they're saying here. You got to make sure that your mind, you know, is renewed. And I think that taking on a lot of responsibilities is something that you have been experiencing as time has progressed. Uh, so again, I definitely do see a lot of like really pushing your limit when it comes to, um, when it comes to work and when it comes to finances. And it's about having the need to find that balance. So as an example, um, if you find yourself, you know, really putting long hours or, uh, pushing yourself to the limit, working like almost everyday type of basis. Understand that there is a time for everything. There is a time to really, you know, put our nose to the grindstone and work as hard as we possibly can. Uh, but then right after that, um, there is a need for you to renew your body, to re-energize yourself, to uh, even if it means taking a very short trip or getting away from, you know, the city lifestyle to really ground yourself and to re-energize. Uh, I feel that a lot of you guys are going to be experiencing for March, almost like not being extremely focused or having issues when, when it comes to remembering certain things. And I think that the, the reason for that, and if you are currently already experiencing that, what Spirit is telling you is that it's time for you guys to take some time off. Um, like I said, you guys are very determined. I do see you guys really putting that effort towards achieving goals, towards financial stability, but you have to find the balance between that. You have to, uh, like I said, really put your nose to the grindstone, but don't, you know, don't prolong that process. The moment you feel you're not having clarity of mind, uh, when you start to forget things, you're becoming forgetful, or when people are talking to you, you kind of lose track and you like uh, wander off to space or you're just like looking up. What what that's telling you is that your mind is needing to regenerate. It's needing to um, really get some, like I said, some rest. For some of you guys, it's having to need, having the need, sorry, to step back and actually either go on a road trip or take just some time off and pamper yourself. Uh, this is going to be very important for you guys because I think March is bringing in a lot of financial growth for you, um, stability. But at the same time, at the right at the center, what Spirit is saying is your body's going to start to really feel that, uh, feel that you've put it through the ringer, or feel that it, it needs to, it needs to get some time off. You know. Um, and more than anything, I, like I said, I do see a lot of progress here. Now, in this reading, I have three horses, which signifies to me momentum. It signifies to me overcoming obstacles uh, and going on new ventures. Um, but with the seven of wands, there is a need for you to really put your foot down or to speak up when it comes to uh, finances, when it comes to your business or the company you work for. Uh, so the best way of describing it is, is what they're telling me is if you feel that there's people that are really slacking off or not really, you know, meeting you halfway when it comes to 
um, the people that you work or the people that work around you. A, a lot of the times you kind of try to look the other way because you're, you're like, you know, you got to do it yourself type of individual. You're kind of quick and just, you know, uh, mind your own and do your own basically. But for this month, it's going to be necessary that whenever you see, as an example of a person that is known for being extremely lazy, starts to complain or whine to you about certain things, um, don't keep, don't, don't, you know, don't say nothing because you don't want to rub them the, the wrong way or because you feel that there's really no point in you like telling them, hey, how can you complain about something when you yourself are not even, you know, busting your ass half as much as I am type of thing. What they're telling you here is that for this month of March, it's going to be very important to maintain your composure, but to speak up when it's necessary, especially when it comes to superiors or people in the hierarchy type of scenario or ladder. Um, so this could be as an example when there's meetings. If there are certain things that you feel you need to put out there for them to take notice, it's time for you to start to speak up, Leo. Now, I know you guys don't have an issue with that, but I feel that sometimes you try to keep or stay away from that only because there is some type of fear within you to take more power or control. Uh, so as an example, in retrospect, some of you guys could be like, well, you know, it would be, uh, I do want to keep growing in my business. As an example, if you're a supervisor or sorry, if you're a lead and you don't, you want to go into management, but at the same time, you feel like you don't want to take on that responsibility. What they're telling you here is you're doing a disservice to yourself because some of the individuals that are in higher positions are not qualified or they're just not good at it. And by you suppressing what you feel or holding back because you don't want to rub people the wrong way, you're doing a disservice not only to the company, but to yourself because there's so much you can bring to the table and it's time for you to start to speak up. Now, I do see progress. Like I said, I do see a lot of momentum when it comes for your growth, especially long term growth, long term goals. I do see you guys achieving that and accomplishing that. If you felt in the past like there's been a bit of resistance, that's quickly going to start changing for you as we do have victory here. We have the six of wands and the eight of pentacles, which is, you know, really taking recognition. But not only that, people are willing to follow you, Leo, and they're willing to follow you or they're willing to take your lead because they respect your work ethic. And it's time for you to believe yourself capable of doing that. And sometimes it all it takes is for us to speak up for for other people to notice, hey, you know what, who is that person that spoke in the meeting? And then they look into your work ethic and they're like, oh, wow, you know, a lot of the leads or supervisors or managers are really speaking highly of this individual. Maybe it's time we need to, you know, cultivate them so that they can take on a grander role. So what I see here for March for you Leos out there, I see a lot of expansion, but I also see like... Uh, power, power and control around you or the energy that you're going to be, uh, you're going to be putting out to the universe. And I think what they're saying here is don't fear those changes. If anything, embrace them because that's going to give you not only long-term stability, but it's going to bring you a lot of new opportunities that perhaps you've never really thought of, or you didn't think yourself was capable of doing. Okay. So for March, Leo's, challenge yourself. Challenge yourself in taking on roles or even, um, like I said, even speaking up when you feel like you've been shutting most of the time. It's time for you to speak up. Pe people are going to listen. They're going to take notice. And a lot of, you know, growth and success is in your very near future, but it solely depends on you taking a stand and believing in yourself. And um, don't let intimidation or the fear of the unknown um, get the best of you. I think that this is a momentous energy for you guys for expansion, especially those of you guys that are thinking of starting your own business. Now is the time to do so. What they're saying is believe in yourself and you will go far. All it really takes is for you to believe in yourself. Um, ultimately, when you have a very strong worth ethic, and you have confidence in your abilities, 
you will become unstoppable in the sense of people will inevitably, inevitably, sorry, <clears throat> people will inevitably take notice of your qualities. Um, and I think that a lot of the qualities that you possess are qualities that perhaps people around you or the business you work for lack when it comes to people in high positions. Uh, for some of them, it could be that they crumble under pressure. And I think that even though you may not like to work under pressure, it almost brings out, you know, that fiery energy within you where it's like, you know, sink or swim and you swim. So again, don't fear those challenges, Leo. Rise to the occasion. All right. I hope you guys enjoyed this reading and we'll see each other soon. Bye.